Hello there, Van Again Addicts. It's Ken Wilford here at Van Again. And if you can excuse my posterior on the screen here for a few minutes, uh, I'm going to talk about placing the pilot bearing in the end of the crankshaft, okay, on your Vanagon engine. So the pilot bearing is what holds the end of the input shaft up uh, for the transmission, and when it fails, it can cause all kinds of problems with shifting, uh, and you may not be able to get into gear properly and that kind of thing. In uh, second gear, third gear, I've had it cause that problem myself before. Because this bearing keeps it centered in the end of the crankshaft. So anyway, to remove this unit, you want to go out and buy yourself a pilot bearing removal tool. That's what this tool you're seeing right here that I'm using. Um, I bought mine at Harbor Freight, and you can pick one up there or on Amazon pretty easily. And basically what it is is a slide hammer tool. So you put this thing into the end of the pilot bearing, you expand it, you crank it a little bit to expand it, and it grabs it really well, and then you just slide hammer it out. Okay, it's pretty easy to use tool. Um, the only trouble comes in, like say, if the thing is really, really destroyed, it might be a little bit harder to use, but you can see in the video as you watch it, it's not very difficult to use this tool. And once you get it out of there, then you're going to want to just uh, get a brand new one from us at Van Again and tap it back in with a rubber mallet. Okay, so it's not really that difficult. Now we're ready to put the new one back. Okay, so you basically just put it in the hole and line it up. Try to get it as straight as possible. Uh, and then you just tap it back in place. Okay, and you tap it in with a rubber mallet. You want it to be tapped in all the way flush. Um, I will say that if you're doing this pilot bearing and you're also going to be doing like your rear main seal, what my recommendation would be is to pull the rear main seal out first, pull out all of the shims and everything that are in there, uh, and you know, keep track of everything. Don't, don't, you know, lose them or nothing, but take all that stuff out. And then there's even like a big washer for the 2.1, the crank washer. Take that out. Then when you do this, um, it keeps everything from shifting on you because there's nothing there to shift. Um, what can happen, and I actually know this from personal experience with this particular project, is that you use the slide hammer and get the pilot bearing out. And then you tap and put the new one back in. And then while you're doing all that tapping and beating and thrashing, your um, big washer that's on the uh, you know the crankshaft there that's behind the main seal gets shifted on you. And then when you go to put the flywheel back on, it messes up. That uh, bit, that uh, end crankshaft washer to shift it has a tab on it and if it shifts it can cause a lot of problems for you uh, when you go to put the flywheel back on okay so my advice is you're doing this job you're most likely going to be also doing a rear main seal at the exact same time because if i pull the transmission out to do this job i'm going to do a rear main seal i pull the flywheel off and do a rear main seal so I would definitely pull the rear main seal off, pull out all the washers, do the pilot bearing, put everything back in proper order. Make sure you note the order that it comes out. Tap, you know, then reinstall your or install your new rear main seal, and then you're good. Okay. Uh, if you don't do it that way, and you try to just use the pilot bearing tool, um, you run a big risk. That when you go to put the flywheel back on and you go to tighten it down the thing is cocked and it's not going to let you um, install the flywheel then you're going to have to disassemble everything all the not the pilot bearing but everything else you're going to take the new rear main seal off take out all the stuff anyway see that your that washer has dropped down and jammed everything up on you and, you know, how do I know this? Because this is exactly what happened to me. 
in this video. You see this first part here, I'm showing you again. I had a brand new rear main seal in, I had everything ready to go. And because I was doing the slide hammer, after I put the main seal in, uh, that caused that washer to drop down. When I went to go put the pulley back on, it pinched everything, it messed up one of my shims, it you know, made me had a really bad day. Okay, so just avoid that. I'm just sharing you my wisdom on that. Avoid that at all costs. Instead, you know, do it the way I describe, and you should be good shape. So that's it for this video, guys. Please like, share, subscribe. Thank you for Fiveable being our member, and we will catch you guys on the next video.